you We're are. back to nag you. I tell are you, you what, ready? this, the lighting here is phenomenal. I think I need to do all of my lives right You're here. most welcome. It always comes with a lot of health benefits, as you know, so it's not a bad idea. Lots of you know? health benefits, absolutely. Yeah. I'm for friends with benefits. Mm. Natasha has created her own brand. She is not here to sell, though. We want to start off with that. I'm here to nag, but not to sell. No. So you have everything or a lot of things for sale and people can choose to use. That's what I love about you. You're so honest. You can choose to use Natasha's uh, products. Or find the or product you trust. Yes. But We're just here to share some information and what you do with this information is up to you. How to stay young. That is. That is actually what we're going to talk yes, about. Yes, that is. Um, right. First of mm -hmm. all, I just want to say I'm on day two of my bioactive collagen gel, which is our patented technology that came out just two days ago. You were one of the first so to get it. So exciting. I have never taken collagen, but I've had so many messages from people saying, I take collagen and I swear by it. Yeah. You are, th you all, all of us, 30% <laughs> collagen. So it's in our skin, it's in our hair, it's in our organs, it's everywhere. In, in our ligaments and joints. And So we're 30% of collagen. As we get older, as all of us, we start to lose natural production of collagen. Obviously, it's, it's a lot depending on what your lifestyle is, what your diet overall is, but it's unavoidable. <laughs> it's part of aging, right? So... Taking collagen will help you to preserve useful skin, most importantly. Obviously, healthy joints. It's like oiling your joints in a way, right? Uh, and support all other organs with collagen. The problem with the collagen supplementation, quick mini nag, is that because powdered collagen, really very low efficiency, very low potency, because, first of all, a manufacturer would heat pasteurize the collagen, right? They extract and heat pasteurize it. During this process, a lot of these very sensitive collagen peptide molecules are broken. What they do afterwards also, turn it into powder because it's easier for you as a consumer to take it with the powder. But during that second um, sort of like processing, again, collagen is destroyed almost completely. So essentially, you are just taking gelatin. Gelatin is not going to give you beautiful skin. It's inactive form of collagen. It's already it's dead. Gelatin is an inactive it's collagen. not a collagen it's right. basically already oxidized form of collagen you can call it like this so what we do differently we first of all don't heat pasteurize we have a patented technology for pressure pasteurization which preserves the collagen almost in its raw original form and we do not dehydrate afterwards we we keep it as is pure gel we extract the pure collagen from poultry we keep it so your body understands it your body absorbs it so fast like a sponge and that's why we're different and it tastes good. Just like that's, that. that's, that's already yeah. <laughs> unbiased apple, opinion apple, here. How apple <laughs> that, yeah, because there are some things that you produce that don't taste great. Just that's fine. That's fine. It tastes, of a, it's an apple. It's, it's sort of a vinegary taste to me, but it's not bad. Yeah. I'm only on day two of it, but I'm going to take it for at least three months. Very good. And, we'll and I'd see. like to do, then we do before and after. Yeah. Oh, what should we'll take, I be doing? We should take some pictures of you and see okay, after we'll three months. Because we've done some studies and studies are phenomenal. In three months, you can see massive difference in your, not just your face skin, but your facial skin, but in your general elasticity of your skin and the moisture, like how your skin is moisturized on your own, entire body. Okay. Yes, so we chose poultry for a reason. Like we are so into biochemistry. We work with a lot of scientists. This is a medical grade. Um, we worked on it for 16 months. Why we chose chicken is because the way we extract it from, from chicken is actually allows us to take type 1, 2, and 3 of the collagen. If it's just bovine, which is beef, you only get type 1 and 3, right? Uh, sorry, 2. And then when you take the marine, then 1 and 3. Here you have one, two, and three. It's just because the way we extract it from the, from the, obviously the ligaments, the bones, and stuff like that. And a lot of people actually asking me, oh, is it organic? Actually, it doesn't need to. Even if it's organic, it will not make any difference because toxicity is stored in fat tissue. It goes the same for humans. Uh, it's not stored in bones and ligaments, right? So the same way, it doesn't really matter 
for whether it's organic or not. This is just a lot of it's just a lot of people asking me this question. I right. it's just Does that mean that you, if you're vegetarian, you don't you can't take the best? Yeah, uh, yeah, and when I, we get that a lot. Is it vegan? I say, unfortunately, guys, there is no vegan collagen. You can stimulate your own collagen with like vitamin C and other things, eating healthy nitric oxide, like make sure your mitochondria is happy, make sure you eat variety of like things you work out, you do the sweat, uh, you do the sauna, that boosts your own natural collagen production. But if we're talking to supplemented, with, there's no vegan supplement. It's a marketing scam completely. Uh, but if you want results, this is the only way to do it, right. really. Uh, somebody was asking the price point. Uh, I think that it is generally collagen is expensive. It's true. It's true. Uh, ours is uh, two ninety five dirhams. It's actually very competitive. I think it's pretty much for forty day supply. So Maybe that's considering if you're taking one spoon a day. Because I take like two tablespoons a day. Do you? Should I be taking more? Uh, Does it make uh, a difference yeah. taking more? Does I think it, it just faster? speeds up the process for giving you results maybe, I think okay. I would say so. Right. But okay. you just finish it very fast, but yeah, you know where to find me, you know where I live, so. <laughs> Hello, can I have college? <laughs> uh, guys, I've stocked up for myself, honestly. I In my fridge you will not find food, you find two things, peptides, that's maybe an act for another day, which I need to do for you as well as part okay. of the clinic and I have collagen so there's oh, sorry, two things in my fridge and there's not two <laughs> things in my fridge Pepsi <laughs> and collagen okay okay peptides you, Pepsi we're, we're balancing out well actually people the taste, the taste is, is like okay. it's like apple Haribo I mean kind of actually it is kind yeah. of exactly it's like a jelly apple jelly apple green yeah, apple the jelly the taste is not bad at all I, I mean the thought of the product is more of putting I, I said, stay, he said, what is it? I said, I don't it's really true. want to explain to you what it is while I'm eating it. <laughs> um, um, anyway, we should get off this. Steaks no, you are not them. trying to sell this. No. I know. I just you... want to, I actually launched it for my own selfish reasons, so I can stay young. Whether you want to also get some, please go ahead, but I'm not selling anything. But it isn't worth skimping on if you want mm. the results. Yeah. And don't buy a powder form, is that right? Absolutely. It's not effective, guys. And you know what? We are going to release some studies because we have done some studies. We're just translating into both English and Arabic. Uh, we've done these studies in Europe in my home country. So we will show you under the microscope how the... And you are more than welcome, all of you, to invest into that. Take any commercial brand or the one that you consume. Take it to laboratory. It will cost you a little bit, but it's for your own good. Put it under the microscope and see if the actual molecule of collagen is active or it's destroyed. In many cases that we've done, the study, again, I'm going to show it, uh, so we will release it all. Um, you can see that molecule of the collagen is like completely, completely damaged. So this, your body will not understand. It enters your body, it leaves your body. There's absolutely no, no vegan, benefits. No vegan there option. There is no vegan option. You can't. Uh, you have to do your own that's research. That's not very good, is it? No. You have, that's why, and I would suggest even... Any supplement that you're taking, because there is already proven, there are, I'm not going to call names, I'm not here for this, but there are already a lot of supplements that are on the market that I personally know that have been accused on, in having serious amount of heavy metals in them. So, and these brands all over pharmacies, right? They're very famous brands. Uh, so you just need to kind of like, if you really take your health seriously, then if you do your if you don't want to do your own homework then you need to trust a person who does this homework for you and kind of like take their word yeah. or or just justify with your own research this is the only way we can do it that applies to everything in life really can i ask what what were you taking before your own i wasn't taking collagen believe oh, it or not really no because you didn't find a good one no exactly because i knew as a biochemist i knew it's useless but what I was doing, guys, if you don't want to take your, like a collagen as a supplementation, you can stimulate your own collagen. How you do it? I'll, I'll give you just a couple of hacks. First of all, a lot of vitamin C. Vitamin C contributes to the production of collagen. Most people don't know. You need a high amount of daily vitamin C. One. Second, silica. Silica is phenomenal for collagen production as well, right? So I've been taking silica as well, like a liquid, like Are a high quality. Now, even with the I'm gonna continue. Yes, okay. like I'm. I my goal is to live until 150, looking like 30. I mean, I'm kind of failing, <laughs> but but I think I can settle somewhere like in the middle compromise. But my point is like I really don't want to age. I, I'm not trying to heal anything in myself anymore. I really just want to look and feel great as yes. long as I can and stay active. Yes. So 
I be, I will be doing, I will be taking silica as well. Maybe cyclically, yeah, but still, like my body will always have the amount. This is two things. Uh, another thing, I do ice baths and I do sauna. Both of them, both of these extreme temperatures also stimulate growth hormones and stimulate collagen. And last final thing, very quickly, fasting. Prolonged fasting, once you finish two, three days of fasting, by studies, your own production of collagen and growth hormones boosted by almost 2,050% within the next few days. So it's like natural way of your body to stay young because of all this debris will exit your body and you just cellular rejuvenation, your body like very, very fast regenerates all the cells. So these are the things you can do. If you want to be absolutely in like an idealist, you do all of these things. You take the collagen, you do the sauna, you do the like ice bath, you take the silica and vitamin C and stay active, positive. Don't forget, health is also positive. If you're surrounded by very negative people or you hold on to trauma, so anger or regrets, these are, you can take all the supplements in the world. You will not have that inner happiness and inner energy that heals you. So this is also super important, I feel. This is when we lost Caroline, basically. I was asking what silica is, and I'm just wondering if you have silica. silica. Yes. I have it in my fridge, if you want. Oh, it's in your fridge. Why is it in your fridge? Because I have, guys, I have like 150,000 supplements. I oh. can't bring them all. Yeah. It's, but um, you, I can bring quickly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Natasha's going to tell you what silica is. What actually is silica? It's a mineral. It's a, it's a mineral. mineral found in earth. Now, if I don't want collagen to booster, the... see, it even says collagen booster. You see? Wow. And what does that taste like? It doesn't taste of anything. It just literally tastes like water. And mm. you take this every day. So I have been Support taking this every day. Gi- I pro- joints and bones. I probably got. I'm probably gonna finish it and just keep good doing my collagen because collagen is already like final result. Right. But again, guys, I feel like. We live in a in a world where we can literally hack everything, so why not? Why to rely on everything natural when you can actually really give your body abundance? We are not living in an ideal world, right? We're in an industrial city, like living... Even our air is not great here. Like, we live in the UAE, obviously. The, the quality of air is not great. So you, no matter how healthy you are, you're still going to have to work harder at certain things. I think there's some questions here, no? Uh, no. Oh, this is somebody no. wants to join us. Yes. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have enough nagging going on here. We got, it's only room for one nagger. Uh, it's free delivery in Dubai, your products? Yeah, it's online. It's not a free delivery, but uh, yeah, we can, we can deliver, deliver anywhere. Uh, we deliver yeah. anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Europe? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Worldwide. This is a very good question. There are certain things, like I can already say as a naturopath or holistic doctor, whichever way you want to call me, there are certain patterns that everyone is totally deficient at. And like, as you get older, also naturally, there are almost always patterns also what you need to keep taking for you to stay young. And I'm not saying young from aesthetic purposes, right? What actually on com, going on on the inside will always show on the outside. You cannot like hack it for too long. Yeah. So always, always, always focus on the actual health because then it will show. the The state of your skin today is just the state of your all internal health inside. So you can always judge if you start getting really more wrinkly. If you see that your your skin is dehydrated. If you see like. The, the, the thinning of hair is part of aging as well, but it doesn't need to be. That's the thing, because we don't really know how to hack it. You need to run the blood test. We will be doing that at clinic. Clinic is not open yet, but you, there are but standards. You can go and get but your standard, own standard, blood if I tell test. you, I think much, majority of women here, if you are a woman, I would say 40 plus, let's say, or 35 plus, right? They're standard. Vitamin D, always check vitamin D. Take it with K2 so you can store your calcium in your bones and not in your arteries. Uh, If you're missing K2, which is common because it's produced naturally in your digestive system, and we know that a lot of people have digestive issues these days, so you need to make sure you supplement with K2. And don't forget magnesium. If you're a woman, absolutely take magnesium. Yeah, exactly. This is a synergetic form. I think it's very... Right, you can't it see it, but it's a it's it's a, it's, a, yeah. it's a health snack a synergetic formula, which is vitamin D three plus K two plus magnesium. Right, and I'm taking that. And, I've and by the way, it's this food. vitamin D can be vegan, and it's a vegan form. So for those of you vegans here, so this is a vegan form. It's very maximized, optimized. That's that. So there are uh, certain age groups mm. that could do with being supplemented in 
specific areas. Yeah, you don't even need to do the test for this. This right. is everyone deficient. Like literally, there's a maintenance dose and I just keep doing it. You cannot do the harm with that. Like vitamin C continuously, magnesium continuously, look into different forms. There's one for relaxing your brain, one for your muscles, um, one for, for regularity. These are three different types of magnesium. I thought the vitamin C, if you had too much vitamin C that you urinated it's true. excess. It's true, it's true. But you need a daily, that's why. That's the reason why we need to have a daily, because we don't store. Like, let's say, ah, right. why other vitamins we store in our body. So right. whenever we're running low, the body can always have a resource. With vitamin C, you don't get it on this day, though. Yeah, but it's true. You don't need to take too much, because it will be on the same day it will be released, right? right. Excess straight away. So that's correct, Caroline. Right. A plus. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, yeah, these are the things I would definitely look. Iodine. No one is talking about it. Like, everyone is almost low on thyroid hormones, including my lovely Caroline. Here. Iodine. Now, what do you get that from? It's a mineral, mostly from seaweed, sometimes oysters, which you probably don't do. like oysters. There you go. Probably don't like seaweed, right? Not well, really. I'm not it's surprised. The I'm surprised. I'm not surprised your thyroid is not very, not the happiest, uh, the happiest, happiest <laughs> at the moment. So this is guys very, very important. So iodine is actually essential for thyroid function. We have an epidemic, not just of vitamin D, Google it, don't trust health man, Google it, research it. How many people actually are deficient in iodine? It's a mineral. Because it, it's very rare in our food, unless you eat a lot of sushi, yeah, like with seaweed and stuff, but so still. back in the day, mm. 100 years ago, I don't think people would have eaten seaweed. They didn't, they, they didn't, but also, it's a very good point, but at the same time, our, like let's say chemicals, we have a lot of heavy metals right now. So when right. a heavy metal comes inside the body, it pushes actually iodine out, iodine out, right? So, and also why we have so many thyroid issues like autoimmunity, Hashimoto's, maybe some people it's hear. Very common. A lot. So what happens, your body identifies, like your body identifies like it's an, an outer body. So the thyroid is the only organ that can actually absorb iodine when they have a metal like let's say mercury and aluminium enters your body unfortunately it's very similar in molecular structure to iodine your thyroid identifies it it thinks that it's basically an iodine and tries to absorb it then when it's at, uh, when it's observed it identifies it ah this is actually an invader this is actually not good for us attack this is why this is when basically our, our immune system starts to attack our own thyroid thinking that there is an invader, there's something, something wrong. So that's why you need to make sure that you have a good source of iodine to push the heavy metals out. It's kind of a protector and it goes vice versa. When you're low, you don't have that protection. So this is like in simple words. Back then we didn't have so many heavy metals. We didn't have so many other things. And still we would, you would get like um, iodine from some sources, small amounts you will still get from most of the food, right? It contains uh, especially seafood, all kind of seafood. We're eating a lot of seafood. So this is partially why Japanese, for example, uh, very good metabolism. The, you, it, will, it will be very hard to find somebody with a thyroid issues in Japan. They all kind really? of sleep because they very high, their diet is actually very high in seaweed, right? So, but I understand what you mean genetically. Yeah, maybe we're not predisposed. We still need that, though. We still need that, and we need vitamin. So, would you say a. everybody should be taking? No, 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 no. You just you definitely need to be very careful with that because iodine is like a very strong mineral. So, I would do a little test, a hair test or a, a legal scan, which we'll be doing in the clinic where you can see. Like there's also pre genetically pre uh, predisposed, low, continuously low deficiency in iodine. And that's when most of the time people always see that also uh, genetically predisposition to hypothyroid consistently. Like, um, so, this would I, so if I have my thyroid blood test, Blood test, I, it's not accurate, guys. I'm going right. to tell you straight away. A testing for iodine in blood is not accurate. Right. Hair, because that's where you store a majority of your minerals for a while. This is when you can really identify it. I mean, you can try. You can still try, but uh, I think oligoscan test can test give you, the, give the you a much more... Uh, so do hospitals have hair tests? 
places? Uh, I'm not the best person to ask about what hospitals do. I think we are very, very delayed. Very delayed. I mean, some clinics do. We will be doing this in our clinic as well, but I can't, I haven't been to a doctor locally here or any other doctor in the world for probably the last 20 years. So I don't even know what they're doing there, but uh, what I hear is that they're very delayed in so many ways, how they read results, like they look at the hormonal test and everything is normal. But then when I do our functional test, I can see that your thyroid actually is not working. So right. No, uh, um, and it isn't. And it well, hasn't yeah. since I was in my early 20s. Um, we will find out why. First okay, of all, first of all, multivitamin okay. doesn't work. Nag time, nag time. Multivitamins do not work. Okay. Why? Why? Uh, Even if it says the dosage is too percent. small, the quality that they put into multivitamin is very poor unless you take a, an insanely, incredibly credible <laughs> uh, supplement. Uh, they don't work. They, they, the dosage is very small, the quality of the... And sometimes you put together certain things that um, basically not supporting, work against each, work other. Against each other. Right. Very so you often. don't produce a multivitamin. And for a reason. I will never produce it because it's not going to work. If you want commercial, go. There's like plenty of commercial options. If you want healthy, no. You need to do your blood test. You do oligoscan because oligoscan is the only test as of today actually can give you all the vitamins and mineral deficiencies in one go, non-invasive, just through the hand. People question accuracy, but I've done, I did a lot of studies on that. Uh, a lot because I'm very skeptical when it comes to this it's extremely accurate I would say 80% accurate and that's a lot yeah for Mm -hmm. 80% accuracy Mm -hmm. and it's consistent I've done them all over the world they're always the same results so with I took them like within a week time it's incredible um somebody's asking about hair skin and nails oh collagen is the best for Um, hair and skin now I'll repeat we are not advertising just sharing hacks personal sharing hacks but you have produced your own collagen because you wanted, I wanted something an that I can extra try. collagen, and this is an excellent collagen. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this for three months. Do it. And I will tell you honestly, if I feel any different, if my skin is different, my skin is my big thing, my body mm-hmm. skin, mm-hmm. the crepey texture, mm-hmm. I will be amazed mm-hmm. if this makes And I'm confident enough uh, to, to do before and after with everything. If we do a proper uh, research with you. Yeah, you're going to take study. some close-up okay, pictures. Study. <laughs> um, we got to stay consistent, Caroline. We are. And, and you need to remove some of the things as well, you know? I'm not removing so. <laughs> my Pepsi. I'm just telling you now, I'm not removing my Diet Pepsi. I think it is worth trying, if you can afford to invest in it, a collagen that doesn't have to be this one, not a powder one. Uh, if you can try it for three months just to see if it makes a difference. Because if you try a collagen and it's not a good one, then you're just going to say, well, collagen doesn't work. Exactly. Exactly. But and it's, then it's a waste of, maybe it was half the price, but it was a waste of that half exactly, the price. Exactly. 100%. No, I agree so with that. So spend what you can to actually see a benefit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, also don't forget, guys, always there's no like a cure-all. Always support your body with everything else. I always say that. Like a lot of people, let's say, oh, um, I'll just eat nonsense, like really bad food, and I'll just go to the gym. And I'm like, you cannot gym your way out of inflammation I mean yeah the inflammation will drop when you say but do consider healthy lifestyle with add-ons this is when you're gonna see like tremendous results I just know guys how powdered collagen is done so if you find another gelish look into the consist- uh, consistency and do the research but there, as of today we're actually the first innovators of collagen that comes in a gel form pure bioactive there isn't there, there are liquids liquids come first of all liquids is the same they just take that powder and add it to the liquid add some other things usually come with sweeteners alcohol for preservatives and other and other preservatives so I will not go even near it it's a, it's a complete scam it's a complete marketing nonsense but because no one wants to age everyone's crazy about it no one's like just take my money and give me that dream of never getting old. This is this is a fairy tale, guys. Right. People asking about protein. First of all, is collagen is type collagen of protein. the same? It, it is, is a type, type of protein. protein. So and also, what was that last one? Uh, that before you take collagen, take enough protein. Mm, you don't need that. This is already active uh, collagen, so it doesn't need. It's a type of protein, so. Um, Basically, the collagen is produced from the protein. So this is what the, the person would tell you that. But it's already here. It's already activated form of this. You don't need even vitamin C with it. Like most of the time, you would need vitamin C to go with your collagen. 
it doesn't need to be because it's already active your body and what i suggest is just you take it in the morning before meals just like a teaspoon and wait 15 minutes before you take anything else that's all you need to do that's it Chick. easy what if you knew of a doctor who was totally anti-collagen and said it does not work and i agree with him that's why the majority of the collagens on the market do not, do not work, work because they already turned into powder your body for, it's a dead molecule right. gelatin is a dead molecule if you preserve as soon as you extract the collagen and you don't touch it you you minimally process it then it works in the same way a bone broth works you know when the bone broth when it's very highly concentrated it's very jellish when it's in the fridge when you take it out it's like really jelly this is original form of collagen what the manufacturers do they take that dehydrate it you even logically imagine the molecules after such heavy processing no helen you don't need protein powder as oh, well as collagen yeah. to so it's basically processed it's over processed it's processed and it's just yes there was a collagen before <laughs> but then they put so many so many processing afterwards turned it into powder and added some other things and preserves it unfortunately the collagen is dead mm -hmm. um are your supplements third party verified good question very good question yes it is and we also really as i said we're going to release a lot of other studies that are backed up by other independent entities it's just we're translating and legalizing it at the moment because we want to also release it in Arabic. Um, somebody's saying they can barely hear. That's because you're sitting forward and I'm letting because you I was take too. the stage. No, you're the queen. I'm you sorry. Go, you take the I'm stage. I'm sorry. Well, I don't have any of the important information, so you really don't need to know what I'm saying. Other than when I, I met you a few years ago, mm. and I have to say I thought you were a bit cuckoo. I am cuckoo, not well, a bit. Cuckoo. I'm full on cuckoo proudly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have come to learn over the years mm. that my body needs different things yeah. as I age. And I'm game to try anything. And mm. if you're, uh, and people are telling me that they're taking collagen and, and it is making huge benefits. And you look phenomenal. Can you imagine what you're gonna, what you're gonna look like after? So, well, with this, crazy. with this, um, she's stunning. Window here, it's got nothing to do with, with, how you look though has it it's on the inside no that i agree with it's a feeling but um we're gonna we're gonna create for you the protocol for everything yeah. because i also always but encourage individualize yes. it individualize so yes so how caroline shared with me her lab tests so we have we have identified a couple of things right so i don't know how how much can we well i just want to tell people how they can individualize yeah, protocol. you need to do some blood work. I mean, you find a hospital that you trust, do some blood work for a very comprehensive consultation. Obviously, you need to come to either Health NAC or a clinic because we will have this longevity clinic, health and functional medicine. We, we will do all kind of testing to identify, first of all, what you need. But certain things, you don't need to know the test. Like vitamin D, everyone's deficient. You just take maintenance dose. Just don't go crazy. Don't put like 100,000 international units. Just take one. 1,000 a day is, is very good. That's what you're doing guys you know i know you can make your own to make your own buy but the, my only concern is that when a bone broth is really good rich in collagen it should be when you put it in the fridge it should be jellish unfortunately with some of the companies when you take it out of the fridge it's just liquid and that's when that's when you know there is no collagen. It's not. It's a broth. It's not bone broth. Bone broth will always be jellish. And Happy does a very good bone broth because they jellish. You know, even they sometimes mess up. You know, one time is really good, very jellish. Another time just liquid. So this is when you know. This is when you can yourself test. Otherwise, make your own. Always great to make your own. But it's twelve hours and the whole room smells of bones. I don't know. It's like um, good it's method to, to make it. I don't. Uh, okay. Saucepan, water chicken bones yeah 12 hours apple cider vinegar oh really yeah um am I allowed to you need to ex that's why our collagen is a bit of apple cider vin vinegar because it, it helps to extract collagen from the bones and ligaments oh there you go i didn't know that mm -hmm. uh, apple cider vinegar yeah um vegetables we're allowed yeah. to put those in yeah so a bit of carrot yeah, yeah. Celery, onions, onions herbs onion, yeah herbs. Mm -hmm. yeah and then um, you're absolutely right when you sieve out the all the gunk 
uh, you're left with the jelly. Exactly. So we basically... And that's how I make my soup. Basically, you can look at our collagen. is highly concentrated bone broth jelly. In simple words, if you really want to understand. Like, very high concentration of that. Yeah? Like, while if you do the bone broth, there's only a certain degree. Here, we're already, like, full on. So you take a full tablespoon of 10 grams of collagen every serving. This is how we do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I am absolutely sold on the whole idea of this, and, I, and I'm really looking forward to it. But I'm going to take more than one teaspoon. <laughs> I don't blame you. The results. Um, right, okay, so we were back to... Yeah, but you um, will not feel it, ACV. You will not feel it, because it's only like you only take a tablespoon for a massive pot. It just helps to extract that vinegar, helps to extra extract the collagen from the bones, basically. That's why our collagen, you can feel a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar, but it's... Find someone who can do this for you. Uh, the problem with identifying what the issue is, all the conventional tests will not be enough. You need to really go deeper. You need to do the Dutch test, maybe a stool test. If you have digestive issues, you need to look into your pathogenic load. Um, like I can see from the blood test whether you have a bacterial infection or maybe a parasitic infection. That can be the reason for many, many health issues. I can look into, into your... Um, um, ANA profile, which is basically ANA, it's a profile when you test for any autoimmunity conditions like diabetes, uh, Hashimoto, um, and, and things like that, you know, for rheumatoid arthritis, these are all autoimmune diseases, so you look at the, your inflammation, you look at the CPR, which is your, obviously, the uh, inflammation marker, I, I even highly recommend to do oncomarkers, like regularly as well, What's check that on co markers, like uh, on oncology. Oh, okay. For oncology, like where you can see, like where there is like uh, some sort of uh, inflammation going on, active infection or something. So these are the things you can do. But obviously, check vitamin D, check vitamin C, um, sort of um, magnesium. But it's much deeper than that. That's why you need to come into less conventional choose functional medicine and do the proper testing for if you want a supplement but most of the time all the supplements that like generic you can still take them there's a sp that's why there's a special dose that is not harmful right but you need to know which brand to trust and that's on you you do your own research right. um, so when mm -hmm. people come and see you because if I go to a dermatologist for example yeah and they have a cupboard full of their own products right that puts me off because right. they want to sell their products. They're not going to yeah. say, like Dr. Natalia, for example, will mm. say use Vaseline. Yeah. They're not going to tell you that. No. So coming to you, you're going to say, take this. No, I'm going to say you need this if you want to find another alternative to, let's say, there's so many vitamin Ds out there. You don't need to go for a house night brand. Find the one, but make sure that you take it with vitamin K2 and okay. magnesium. Right. If you don't want to think, the synergistic formula is already there. But if you want to think and want to do your own search, please, that's fine. But uh, the reason why HealthNag was born is because I have very low tolerance to bad quality. This is the only reason HealthNag was born. And uh, I scrutinize everything. You know, all the formulas are very smart. And we, we launched essential formulas, so you don't need to, like, anyone, you, without any test, can take anything that we have, right? When you go deeper, like iron, I'm actually not a supporter of taking iron as a supplement. It's a big oxidizer. Yeah, even, like, don't do it. I would instead eat iron-rich foods and t make sure that you take enough of copper with your food and enough, enough of vitamin C to help you absorb iron and turn it into a ferritin, right? So these are the things that I usually explain during my consultation, but there are, there are certain things like peptides, we're gonna talk about it, is amazing. You can literally hack and heal any health issue, any disease, and you can reverse your biological age, already proven. I've seen results in myself, even, and obviously, I've been studying it for the last eight years. I'll be sharing that all You're with you. You're almost losing me now. Okay, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Where were we? Peptides, my God. <laughs> I mean, this is so, so basically, no, I know, but I am health snack and I do have a lot of information to share with you. I know. You so, get so excited. And I get excited when I, I don't get to have an audience <laughs> tonight very often, so I get it all out in one go. <laughs> Guys, so. Yeah, actually, can we just answer that? Like, ASCV before every meal, what do you think of that? Yeah, great. Very good. It's enzymes. It activates your digestive system. So it's not going to harm you. No, it's very good. It's good. And it's good if you're eating sugar or anything carbohydrate. It's also good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, I, I, you can even take it like after your meal to make sure that your uh, glucose doesn't spike up too much. 
but also there's benfetiamine, which is a very good uh, supplement if you have insulin insulin resistance. Benfetiamine. Mm-hmm. Never even heard. Of that. No worries. <laughs> Let's leave it then. Okay. <laughs> or berberin. Berberin. If you have insulin resistance or you know that your blood glucose is very high, start taking berberin. If you have PCOS, any endometriosis. What, how do you spell that? that berberin. What's it called? Should I bring it? Yeah. Oh, berberin. No, berberin is like B E R. B E. You're asking Russian to spell. Wait. <laughs> oh, berberin. Berberin. Like the berries. No, no. Berberin. It's like her. Basically. Okay. If you want, I can sh- send it to you and you share it afterwards okay. in the comments. Right. And being fit, I mean, so these are the things that a lot of obviously women have PCOS, they have endometriosis, they have like, like so many things with hormones, right? It's all also down to our continuous blood sugar spike. So the best and the most important thing to slow down aging. You need to make sure that you balance your blood sugar levels. Yeah, berberin, somebody wrote. That's it. That's your about. Oh, about. thank you. Um, because those massive, violent glucose spikes create a lot of inflammation. And what is inflammation? Is aging, basically. So balance your blood sugar levels. Eat clean. Exercise. Which is why we were wearing those patches. Yeah, just Which for you to understand. fascinating to understand mm-hmm. what spikes yeah yeah body hack yeah if you eat dinner and don't go on the couch instead we go for a walk that will also bring your blood sugar levels down so certain things you can learn how to optimize it you know amazing i know i'm nagging too much right no you are not you never (laughs) nag too much it's just a lot of information to take on board i know we need them a lot of lives a lot of lives or maybe some other people paper a lot a lot of notepads um, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's um, also for the for the thyroid, right? For example, off topic a little bit, but in your case, let's say we want to optimize your hormonal balance, but I don't want you just to take the thyroxine because, okay, that's hacking it. But also, how about we stimulate your own thyroid? How how about we wake you up? How about you're gonna take bioregulators that actually teaches and reminds your thyroid how it should work on? This is what I'm talking about. This is what for me is functional medicine and this can be done through certain peptides this can be done through certain supplements um, this can be done through certain nutrition like certain things that our thyroid specifically loves is like a pattern right um, this is one example then obviously to bring the inflammation down and like bacterial or parasitic or viral or whatever it is on any sort of infection there also you can take it with a certain supplements um, so I really strongly believe in this supplements we just need to really understand what you're doing and most people don't and i don't blame them because we are not educated you need to go to a professional so you're not anti-medicine i am not anti-medicine per, like but it isn't but it's numbing symptoms as long as it's right. not numbing symptom right. only it will not help otherwise you have to look into root like we've had so many clients with endometriosis for example most doctors will tell you it's for life or pcos a lot of people tell you it's for life i have healed personally so many ladies from both and that, that's why if you go to normal doctor what they're going to put you on on the hormonal therapy they give you the um, um birth control pills oh my god this is like another topic yeah but there are good doctors not do not take doctors. birth control pills for PCOS treatment, guys, please. Okay, I think we should get off the medical topic. <laughs> I'm gonna cry otherwise. Um, right, okay, I think that uh, we're gonna wrap it up mm-hmm. now. With you and I are gonna talk about um, yeah. what I'm gonna I create a protocol for Caroline, so yes, for the I'm next three months, and then we will report Which back. Will share. Report back on the uh, on the feeling. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and we will be back. Let us know what you would like the health nag to nag about next. Mm-hmm.